test, test. Um, you're welcome to have a seat, ladies and gentlemen, and good afternoon, and welcome to sunny Queenstown Premium Outlets. My name is Trisha Southern, and I'm the general manager here at the outlets. And on behalf of my management team, I have with me today Donna Judy, our director of marketing and business development, and also uh, Charles Buddy Torian, our operations director. And along with all of our retailers, uh, we would like to extend a warm welcome to Mr. Peter Francho, the comptroller for the state of Maryland, as well as Mr. Patrick Donahoe, president of the Maryland Retailers Association and our other esteemed guests. And thank you all for coming out to Queenstown Premium Outlets to support and promote Maryland's tax-free week. Our 81 and building Simon Premium Outlets in the United States, Puerto Rico, Japan, Malaysia, South Korea, Mexico, and Canada are some of the most iconic and productive shopping destinations for residents and travelers. And I realize I might be slightly biased, however, I am certain that the very best shopping experience uh, to be had is here at Queenstown Premium Outlets. We offer a solid upscale tenant mix with brands like St. John, and Kate Spade, Michael Kors, Polo Ralph Lauren, and so many more. Our shoppers also tell us that in-store customer service here far exceeds the competition. And additionally, we're easy to get to. Located directly on US 50 and 301, we're able to offer shoppers easy access to the center as they travel to and from Maryland's eastern and western shores. And for those traveling via electric vehicles, we're also now boasting an NRG EVgo charging station. So all Simon Premium outlets are distinguished by their unparalleled mix of leading designers and name brands selling direct to consumers at significant savings. In fact, on any typical day here at the Queenstown Premium Outlets, our guests will find 25 to 65% savings. And the additional tax savings offered this week offers even more incentive for our shoppers to visit. So to elaborate on the importance of Maryland's tax-free week, please join me in welcoming State Comptroller for the State of Maryland, Mr. Peter Francho. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you. Oh, what a nice thing that is. <laughs> what a wonderful uh, statement, Patricia. Thank you, and to Judy for uh, organizing this nice event. And uh, I'm particularly pleased Commissioner Moran is joining us. And I'm always glad when the sheriff's around. <laughs> Sheriff Hoffman, uh, thank you for what you do, and uh, appreciate all of the public safety leadership that you give, uh, not just to you, but frankly to the state of Maryland. And then my good friend Pat Donahoe, who is the head of the Maryland Retailers Association. Uh, Pat and I have done uh, this for a few years. Uh, the reason I'm out here uh, as the tax collector uh, saluting and promoting a tax-free week is because this is probably the, uh, Pat and I think, the second biggest shopping week of the year. It was created out of thin air and whole cloth by the legislature uh, putting into statute this tax-free uh, period of a week in August. It's uh, going to continue until Saturday the 16th. It exempts the uh, articles of clothing and shoes that cost less than $100 each from the 6% sales tax. I mean, think of it for a minute. We turned a week that was kind of a quiet dog days of August, not a very popular time to go out and shop, into the second biggest shopping week of the year. It's incredibly important for the Maryland economy because we're so consumer-based. So much of our GDP, our employment, our wage growth is dependent upon consumers buying products and when they are faced with a tough economy like they are now in a state like Maryland which let's admit it we got a great state but we have high taxes they tend to keep their wallets in their pocket and um, that's a huge problem uh, not just for the state's economy but for these wonderful stores so this week has proven to be a enormous jump start to the fall shopping season um, can't think of a uh, more important event to promote 
been asking people to come down here and, and shop during tax-free week. Consumers love it because the, a lot of the merchants traditionally have sales on anyway at these outlets, but they also add sales on top of the tax-free uh, week. And what particularly makes me happy is Maryland's comptroller is seeing some of these wonderful individuals from Delaware come over and shop over here in Maryland. Uh, there's enough of us going across the border in the opposite direction from time to time, so this is uh, good for uh, that border uh, loss of um, shopping that we sometimes experience. So this is uh, a good thing. I hope next year the legislature will amend it and broaden it to include uh, back-to-school supplies like backpacks and pencils and computers and other items because it is identified with back to school shopping but it is for everybody as long as you limit your items to under a hundred dollars per item adults anybody can benefit from this six percent uh, savings so uh, let me if I could ask Commissioner Moran to come up and say something and Sheriff uh, Hoffman uh, represent these areas and uh, you know how important uh, this kind of a successful shopping week is uh, for your constituents. Thank Please. You. Thank you. I, I want to thank everybody for coming out today. I, I would like to echo uh, the comptroller's comments. Uh, this is this is a, a huge week for the state and for the citizens. I also would like to say um, that uh, the outlets here is one of our largest economic engines in the county, and and we find that to be very pleasing. And uh, Anybody that has a spare time this evening or any day the rest of this week, shop all day long and then come on over to the county fair and uh, support the local 4-H and uh, have something to eat. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, I think last year uh, Sheriff Hoffman asked me, can't we make this year round? But I said, no, it's not practical. So we're going to have to focus on this one. But I'm delighted he's here. He does such a great job. Comptroller, thank you. And I'll tell you, it's amazing to stand here and watch the amount of license plates come through the parking lot, like you said, yeah. from out of state and out of county. And Queen Anne's County, the outlets here, is one of the economic engines, as the commissioner spoke, that really employs a lot of people within our community. So we really appreciate all the communities coming together to support the tax-free week. And Queen Anne's County is one of the safest counties out there, and we appreciate everybody shopping here and enjoying all the wonderful things of the county. Thank you very much. Uh, happy to take some questions. I noticed my favorite newspaper, the Washington Post, editorialized today that these uh, tax-free weeks are something that should be done away with uh, because, um, well, they had a number of points. Their major point, I guess, was that the tax loss of $5 million in sales tax revenue, which we approximately lose each year, uh, is just uh, too valuable for us to give up. Uh, the message back to my friends at the Post is we actually bring in three or four times that amount in additional tax revenue because of the associated affiliated shopping. People come in to buy the tax-free goods, they see something that's not subject to the exemption and they buy that and there's a, such an upsurge of economic activity that uh, this is a, just an all-around win-win situation. Pat Donahoe, perhaps, if you could come up and say a few words on behalf of small, big, middle businesses and how important this is. Thank you, Comptroller. I don't know anybody in the state that supports Maryland business more than Peter Francho. It's kind of different having a Comptroller who's in charge of just collecting taxes and managing our money be such a huge supporter of Maryland businesses. Tax-free week is truly important to retailers in this state because it brings consumers into Maryland retail stores. And that's important because Maryland retailers employ 400,000 people in this state. They're second only to the public sector in the number of people employed. That means when people shop in a retail store in Maryland, their friends, their family, their neighbors, they're all supporting their jobs and jobs is what this is all about. We need more jobs in this state, we need more economic growth, and this is a good start. Thank you, Comptroller. Thank you, Pat. 
So happy to take any questions if uh, my favorite newspaper has anything, but uh, if not, we're going to go and visit, I believe, uh, one or two stores. Uh, folks, everyone's welcome to come. The only condition is you have to buy something. <laughs> but uh, seriously, thank you all for being here. Thanks for coming. Yeah.